this is a problem. James Webb just confirmed, this is a telescope, confirmed there's something fundamentally wrong about our understanding of the universe. There's something fundamentally wrong about our understanding of light. Light does not go the same speed forever. When it hits fields, it slows down. No question whatsoever, and there is just a ton of fields in space. Okay, we all hear about how far away they're seeing the distances and the galaxies and so forth. Well, they realize something's terribly wrong, seriously wrong, and it's not down to a measurement error. The error is that they say light travels the same speed no matter what you're going through. Space is completely saturated with particles. So some areas light goes slower and some areas light goes faster. Depends on what is going through. And this is what they're finding. It says that the rate of expansion is faster in certain places than others, and they can't explain it. The obvious explanation is the fact that everything there is, light has to pass through all this stuff. And that's just like passing through water, or passing through something that slows the light down. Here it might go faster, here it might go slower. It depends. The galaxies and everything, everything in space is saturated with particles. There's no way in the world that the light continues at the same speed. And that's the, re the way they, got, they have calculated all these distances to these faraway galaxies. We just found the farthest galaxy in the world. No, they found the densest region in which stops the light from coming and makes it seem like it's so way, way, way at distance. But they fall right next to each other. This one might be going fast, this one might be going slow. It's because they're in, coming through this vac non-vacuum of space. There's no vacuum out there. They know there's no vacuum. And why they, they did this is just crazy. And they're every, making these statements every day. Oh, we found out this, and we found that because of the Webb telescope. No, Webb telescope is, 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 is a camera. That's all it is. All right, Einstein claimed that light never slows down. One speed, case closed. It's not true. They know that it slows down going through water. This is the va this is what they call it the vacuum of space. There's no vacuum here. They're f hitting fields over field after field after field, slowing down. In some areas, they may go a little faster because there's not as many fields. There's fields everywhere. This is right here in our own neighborhood. This feels it like crazy. Water, ha I mean, light has to hit every one of those fields and it's going to bounce and slow it down. So we know that it can slow down. That is, un that, there's no question. Now, we also know we can speed it up because we did. And we did it by using a venturi. A venturi causes things to speed up. Just a fact. And that's the particle that was inside the wave and a wave is a magnetic field that has to push through with the particle. The particle is a tiny little thing in here, and the field is huge. That's why it's a field, the particle field duality. They never could figure that out either. And there's no question light is a particle. That is the particle right there. The glowy part makes light. The black part is the carrier. It carries the light. All right, and the same thing here. Red is the same, only it's slower. And here is the proof of it right here. The red is slow and gets out of the way of the green. When the green passes by, it just pushes it out of the way. They're both Venturi. They're going through the same Venturi at the same time. And they're the same particles. And it just pushes the, the slower one out of the way. We haven't misunderstood the, the universe we misunderstood light, and that's because of Einstein. Einstein really broke physics, as far as I'm concerned. He's the problem. All right, I commented on here, there's nothing wrong with our theory of the universe, except that it's not expanding the way they thought. Light speeds up and slows down. Depth theory explains it. Webb is simply a camera. There's no ability there to calculate distances, none. All right, I asked if light could be accelerated, would that change Einstein's theory of light being one speed? And no question it would. You can slow it down, we know that. 
But can you accelerate it? Nobody's ever been able to do that until now. We've accelerated it using a Venturi because light is virtually atomic vapor. It's like water until it condenses. Light is the smallest particles. They condense to make atoms and protons and so forth. So as far as I'm concerned, and as far as anybody's concerned, I will talk to any physicist on the planet about this. We have accelerated light. That, that gets Einstein right off the table. He hasn't been right about anything that he said. Light coming through space is being, being pushed back at by all these fields. It's slowing down. That's why they're finding that the expansion they think happened because of a big bang, they all expanded at the same time. There's some of them going slow, some going fast. They have no idea what they're doing right now. None, zero. And the web is just a big waste of money. It's a good tele. It's a good camera. That's all it is. And I want this corrected on chat because they say I have no evidence to support my claims. That evidence is light being accelerated. More evidence is light being particles. There they are, there's the particles. And they're dipoles. Everything is made of dipoles. I have all of this stuff done and documented and evidence, and they claim I have no evidence. We have the evidence, the same as they have from CERN and Fermilab, same particles, we found them. I want chat and all of this AI to come around and be honest with us instead of just bolstering the academic, in my opinion, fraud. They know this isn't true. It's been, it's been proven for over 10 years. These pictures were taken over 10 years ago. And I actually inter, interacted with the University of Geneva and Fermilab and all of them. I showed them that we could take these pictures with CMOS, complementary metal oxide silicates, and they finally agreed, yes. And now they are using the same technology to do what we did 10 years ago, and they won't admit they were wrong. Not admitting you were wrong is worse than being wrong. 